हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट विद्यावर्धका कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग व्हिच इज इन मैसूर और आल्सो कॉल्ड वीवीसी मैसूर सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल द कोर्सेज केजेट कॉमेड के फी स्ट्रक्चर एज वेल एज द मैनेजमेंट कोटा फी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दिस कॉलेज सो टॉकिंग अबाउट वीवीसीई सो इट इज क्वाइट ओल्ड एंड एस्टैब्लिश्ड कॉलेज स्टार्टेड इन 1997 सो ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 25 इयर्स एंड अराउंड 3900 स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलरेडी स्टडीइंग देयर talking about the credentials so it is approved by aict new delhi and it was rated as 251 to 300 best engineering colleges in india in 2022 under the nirf uh, ranking criteria talking about the nac accreditation so it's a nac a a great college right so nac is quite decent and most of these courses are accredited by nba national board of accreditation so csc information science mechanical engineering triple e ec and civil those are all nba accredited so that's good and the best part of it is that it is an autonomous institute which is affiliated to vtu visheshwara technological university in belgaum so this is basically one of the main college building and talking about the address it is located in gokulam third stage in mysore so this is the complete address and the contact details of the college and talking about the courses first so this is basically seat matrix for last year it will tell you the type of branches available and the seats so first if you can see computer science engineering is the biggest branch where the number of seats are 540 seats so comparatively very good number of seats are available and next is computer science and engineering with specialization in aiml there are also good 180 seats are available and information science engineering the third branch there are also 180 seats are available so if you see total 800 plus seats are available only in computer related branches and then you have also electronics and communication engineering which you can study here 180 seats mechanical 120 seats triple e electrical and electronics engineering 60 seats and then last one you can see civil engineering which is also having 60 seats now it also offers mba mtech and mca program so those are through pgct exams and if anybody is watching that mba total number of seats are like 120 seats mtech they op- they have for options in MC, uh, you know computer science engineering which 18 seats and mtech in robotics and mechatronics that also 18 seats and masters in computer mca is around 120 seats so both are through pgc all are through pgc exams and uh, mtech they accept gate score also so before going for the fee structure i'll first talk about the program codes right so be if you are coming through kset exam the code will be e071 and that is only for the karnataka domicile students but if you want to get admission through all india quota then it is through comedy ke exam the code is e147 and the minimum criteria is like 45% in pcm through comedy ke quota similarly i also mentioned about demtech course so that is t886 and for mba it is like b315 which is the main code now let's first start with kset fees then comedy ke fees and last will be the management quota fees so kset fees if you see this is again last year's this year fees will be re- released soon but for the general merit obc quota right one year fees is like 1,7495 right and that is you have to pay at the kea and after you have gone to college additional 20000 rupees you have to pay as the college fees so total fees will, will be like 1,27000 rupees per year and this is for general merit and the obc candidates if you are a super numerary quota snq quota this is a Uh, there you know 5% of seats are reserved and the court is very and, and the fees is very low which is 31360 plus 20000 at the college so 51000 rupees per year you can study in the snq quota but limited seats are available now i'm going to talk about the category 1 students right their fees will be like 85981 uh, they have to pay in the ke uh, time and uh, which is for the income up to 2.5 lakhs and when they reach college they will have to pay additional 41000 as the fees payable right at the college but they will be covered through some scholarship schemes also similarly students with uh, uh, income about 2.5 lakhs they will their fees will be same as the general merit obc fees now the next one is the sc st reservation category students so for sc st student they will have to pay 750 rupees during the counseling time right and rest of the fees will be covered through the scholarship so 750 only you have to pay if your income is up to 2.5 lakhs or income is up to 10 lakhs rest for 2.5 lakhs income student they will have to pay 50000 in the college which will be you will be receiving some scholarships 
for the seven, less than 10 lakhs category 126 they have to pay in the college but again there will be some scholarship but for the students which are more than 10 lakhs and they will be treated as a general married candidate and their fees will be same as a GM or the OBC candidate. Now I am going to talk about the fees through Comedic quota again this is last year's fees again uh, there are two type of branches and two type of students first is the Karnataka students. So Karnataka students who are the residents of Karnataka for them if you see CSC, CSC, AML, Information Science Engineering and ECE those are considered top branches fees is same. 281,477 you have to pay during counseling and 30,000 extra you have to pay when you reach college. So comedy care fees is 3,12,000 for the top branches. But if you are going for the core branches like civil, mechanical and electrical, the fees to be paid at comedy KV authority is like 1,90,000 during the counseling process. And once you reach college, you have to pay additional 330,000. So per year fees will be for Karnataka students 2,20,000 for the core branches. And if you see non-Karnataka students, there is a small difference in the fee, other fees. So because of which there is al almost like uh, 1,500 rupees difference, which they are supposed to pay more than the Karnataka student for different branch categories, which you can see here. Now I am talking about the management quota fee structure. And you can see this is for 25-26 fees. That means this is the latest fee structure, which is available for the admission to this year course, which is 25-26. Now there are basically three categories of fee structure which are applicable and I will explain you it is based on your physics and maths marks. So management quota fees is dependent on your marks in physics and maths. Higher you score your fees will be less. So on the left side you can see the branches and the fees which are applicable right. And so you can see from the left side uh, PM plus percentage that means physics maths percentage if you are getting in class 12th which is 80% and above then you will be charged lower so first one which is shown in blue color blue color CSC one time fees you have to pay 7 lakhs and every year you have to pay 3.75 lakhs right so 3.75 lakhs for four times and one plus extra 7 lakhs total fees for four years will be 22 lakhs so CSC students and CSC AIML students as well as information science engineering also students are going to pay 22 lakh rupees fees right ISC I think they have missed it but it will be the same fees for ISC also 22 lakh rupees for four years under management quota. Now same branches if you are PM marks which is physics and maths you are, if you are getting lower marks in physics and maths in class 12 you are getting only 70% and above but not 80% your one time fees will increase to 8 lakh so extra you have to pay 1 lakh rupees during first year next year you have to pay only 3.75 lakh rupees per year which is other students are also paying so your budget will be now 23 lakh so you are giving you are getting less marks uh, than 80 percent you are going to pay 23 lakhs the last one you can see is for the students who are physics math 60 percent and above they will have to pay one time development fees as 9 lakhs that means they will have to pay total 24 lakhs so 1 lakh rupees difference in fees is there from students who get 80% uh, marks then 70% and above and 60% above. Similarly ECE one time development fees 2 lakhs and uh, per year fees 3.5 lakhs. So total fees will for 4 years 16 lakhs but if your marks are lesser you will have to pay 16.5 lakhs and if your marks is uh, less than 70% also then development fee for ECE will be 3 lakhs and every year 3.5 lakhs total 17 lakhs so these are the top branches and if you want to even take admission into uh, the other branches which is triple e four years fees will be 10.5 lakhs for 80 percent and above and uh, it will be 11 lakhs for 70 percent and above and it will 11 so just 50,000 rupees difference in the uh, uh, core branches right and one lakh rupees uh, difference uh, in the top branches per year depending on your mark so you can see on your own and civil engineering I will not suggest to go for this college placements will be quite low but uh, you can go up to electrical electronics and top branches will be more better options so that's all I have to cover in this particular video and this is the latest fee structure thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka take care and bye